Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating the median absolute deviation in SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS statistics data editor fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And I'll be focusing on this score variable. So I have this score variable and it has 15 records. And I'm going to calculate the median absolute deviation for this variable. So first I'm going to need to calculate the median for this variable. So to do that I'm going to move to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, then Frequencies. And I'm going to move the score variable over to this variable list box and then click here under Statistics. In the top right corner under central tendency, I'm going to check off median. And that's the only output that I want for this analysis. So I'm going to press continue and then I'm going to uncheck display frequency tables because I don't because I don't need those for this calculation. So I click OK. And I see the median of this score variable is 52. That's 52. So I'm moving here to the data editor now and I'm going to use that median to calculate the absolute value of the difference between each score and the median. That's the next calculation I need to make. I'm going to create a new variable to do that. So I'm going to go up to transform and compute variable and I'm going to name this target variable median deviation. So median underscore deviation. Moving over to the numeric expression here to the right, I'm going to want, I'm going to start with the absolute value. So under arithmetic, we can see here absolute value returns the absolute value of the numeric expression ABS. So I'm going to double click that. And in this absolute value function, I want the median minus the score. So I know the median is 52, so I'm going to input 52 and then subtract the score, which is the score variable here. So it's the absolute value of the median minus the score. I click OK. So here I have all the deviations and I want to calculate now the median of this variable that'll give me the median absolute deviation, be the median of this variable. So to do that, it's fairly straightforward. Go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, and back over to Frequencies. And I'm just going to move the score variable here back to the original position here on the left, out of the variables list box. And I'm going to move in this median deviation but you can see here, the median deviation was created as a nominal variable. And we want this to be a scale variable. However, I'm still going to move it over to this variables list box to show you what happens. And under statistics, we can see median is checked off from the prior analysis, so I don't need to make any changes here. So we see we have this nominal variable, median deviation. We'd rather that be scale click OK and we still get the correct median absolute deviation of 4. 4 is the median absolute deviation of the score variable. So we do not need to change move back here to this last analysis for the uh, median. We don't need to change this variable to scale for this to calculate correctly. So if I back out of here, in order to change that to scale, you go to the variable view and to the measure variable here and just drop down, select scale. This drop down arrow, select scale. With this median deviation variable set as scale, I'm going to move back to the data view, uh, although I don't need to, to run the analysis. Go to analyze, descriptive statistics, and then frequencies and notice here that this 
median deviation variable is still showing as nominal. If I press reset, now you can see it's a scale variable. So I can move that over, and because I pressed reset, I need to go back up here to statistics and check off median again, because that's reset as part of that, and then uncheck display frequency tables, press OK, we can see we get the same result. We have a median absolute deviation for the score variable of 4, the value of 4. I hope you found this video on calculating the median absolute deviation in SPSS to be useful. Thanks for watching.